I can't wait to show you guys perhaps my favorite feature of Sketch, exporting CSS right from your designs. Now, there's a couple ways to do it, and we're going to go through them both. The first one is individually. You can click on an element. You can see here I have Ryan's first button, the button that we created around lesson one. And I'm going to go ahead and right click it and say copy CSS attributes. That's pretty simple. You can just paste them from here. So I've got sublime text open and I'm going to go ahead and hit paste. And you can see it inserts a comment called Ryan's rectangle. It says border radius. It has background images. Uh, that use a gradient style and it does it for all the major browsers including Opera which is going to be changing soon so let's hopefully uh, Sketch updates them and uh, you can see it's all pretty nicely formatted uh, everything is sort of separated and spaced and just really well formed uh, pretty good code uh, which is cool now how do we get the name Ryan's Rectangle well that's simple over here in the layers palette you can see that was the name of the object so if I decide to call this button and I went right clicked and copied well when I went and pasted in you see you would get button and I'll just put it a second one just so you can see there you go there's button and all the stuff still the same now this works with text as well so up here we have big 73 point character spaced and shadowed headline font Let's go ahead and copy its CSS attributes and paste that in. Font family, it automatically specifies the exact font I picked. What size, the color is in RGBA, so it could do transparency if it wanted to. Its line height is in there, and the text shadow is on there. And this is all CSS3 uh, compatible. And of course, it's sort of abbreviating the name, uh, and that's because of this. What if I call this H1 instead? Copy CSS over here, paste it in. Now, this isn't fully formatted CSS. This is just all the styles for that element. So if I wanted to uh, make this work in a web page for an H1 tag, I'd have to type H1, do my open bracket, and then and I'd have to do a close bracket down here that's the curly brace rather than a bracket so you can see that's what the actual formatted CSS would look like uh, but you can leave the comment in. I mean that's just a great way to search for it you could search based on your designs now the second way we can do this is by group selecting things right clicking and copying the attributes over here in Sublime Text, we'll go ahead and paste in a group of stuff. And you can see everything comes in all together. You get the CSS of basically your whole document. It's absolutely wild. It's totally awesome. And it's pretty well formatted uh, for a tool like this. I guess when I started using it, I expected the CSS exporting to be pretty bad. But it's good. It's really good. And you should absolutely use it. If you get a button style that you like... Uh, and actually let's go ahead and try this right now I'll go ahead and copy the CSS attributes of these things that's pretty sweet and I have a Food Network style already made uh, button where I've put in some HTML around it in Coda and you can see here that my button from sketch it's good to go of course I can write new stuff in there and it's automatically gonna update but essentially, we've got pretty good functional and working uh, code, which is pretty unbelievable. So we've talked about styles, fills, putting on properties like shadows. All of that stuff is pretty obvious. And then we got into exporting CSS.